welcome to the 11th edition of the Investigate and Art Fair, the biggest fair ever since the start in 2013. It has been a long journey, done on many encounters, partnership and friendships. And this year we celebrate 115 exhibitors under the same roof, representing over 400 artists from 50 countries in the world. This year, we are presenting in the main section for the first time. This follows our previous presentation at the alt section in 2023, which was as a young new gallery who just started off our very first participation at a fair. Fast forward a year later, we've now presented twice in Italy. We're on our way to Vienna and Brussels. So for us, it really was this wonderful springboard to allow us to experiment here and to be part of this platform that really encourages innovation and new innovative models of gallery making and working with artists. I think one of the best things about Fiera Milano's Cape Town Art Fair is that it continues to grow in gravitas and ambition. It's been part of this fair from very early on and it's wonderful to see the breadth of thematics and the quality of galleries that are coming back and the, the quality of the audience, you know, enthusiasts, collectors, curators, but also just young people and older people who just love art and are curious. So it's very much an institution and it's very much part of the Cape Town scene in February. It's wonderful to be here. This is our second edition in Cape Town Art Fair. We decided to come here, first of all, because the fair, the best way, in my opinion, to experience the place, to experience the market, visit galleries, museum. I think till now it's a great experience. I'm so excited to be here at Cape Town Art Fair with the Kanyum Dingy collaboration with Yawa. I think the real beauty about Cape Town Art Fair is seeing the amalgamation of diversity within the context of different practices of art. And I think that's definitely one of the most pivotal things that people will talk about by the end of the fair. So it's just really seeing the different points of views that artists have and designers have within the context of what's happening here in South Africa, which I think is really important. I was invited to put together a proposal to activate which would be the solo section. This year we are featuring nine artists under the broad umbrella, I don't want to use the word theme, of painting. Solo is one of the curated sections within the art fair. There are a number of uh, curated interventions and they offer a deeper engagement with the subject. And that's the idea of curated sections at a fair, is that you can challenge the public, you can educate and hopefully also entertain. in the generation section that myself, Amhela Maledu, co-curated with Natasha Becker. It's an inaugural section, a brand new section of the fair. We really wanted to think about generations in a new way, to think about it as much more intersectional, much more about conversations between artists from the same generation, artists from different generations. For instance, we have Esther Mahlunga and Bonolo Kavula, who's a younger artist with, you know, an icon of South African art. When we emphasize collaboration, when we emphasize interconnected ways of knowing, when we kind of have these histories that are sort of told again within this past, future, present, when linearity is not something that we're necessarily interested in, but more plurality. Being in the generation section, it's a career milestone. I think it speaks to like younger artists or artists that just, just after me who feel like, you know what, I can do that. Well, I'm gonna do that and I'll be a part of that section one day. So I had my first solo exhibition in Basic Capes and Art Phase. Soon after that, that actually prompted my decision to go, actually, no, I want to be an artist. Winning this prize means that I'm now in a new space, in a new audience, and I'm able to interact with new people and new spaces. It just feels like a huge privilege and a really 
affirming moments for my story and who I am and what I've made and what I've created. How does one differentiate the Cape Town Art Fair amidst the kind of growing number of fairs internationally? Its strength lies in its regionalism and also its youth. It holds that possibility to a young artist that you can come here and maybe within a year or two you might be showing here and you know just maybe maybe something bigger will happen.